Good morning, good morning, good French fry. It is not French fry Friday, y'all. Happy Saturday, Catter Day. I should have known that because I'm going home today, y'all. Woo, 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 woo. I can't believe I thought it was freaking Friday. <laughs> oh, my days are so thrown off. Happy Saturday, Catter Day, everybody. What in the high Hades? Hello, Hacious Hot Sauce was I thinking. Can I believe I thought it was Friday? Hell no, that means I'd be here another dang night. No. Happy Saturday, Catterday. Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday morning. Probably about 8 o'clock. Actually, 8.30. And uh, I just got out of the bath and got half my bag packed. I used to get the rest of it packed after I get ready. Well, not really ready, just dressed. And then I am going to be on the road home. And y'all, I am so glad that I'm not picking up my car today. I mean, I want to get my car. I'm ready to get my car. Y'all, I'm nervous about getting my car. And ooh. Let me tell y'all. Okay, so y'all know originally, I don't know if I told y'all this, but originally I wanted to go after a black car that they had, a Kia, a black Kia. I just prefer black cars. Always had black cars for the most part. We all have black cars. Mom has a black Lincoln. Molly has a black Lexus. Mom had a black Lincoln, had a black Lincoln. Molly had a black Lexus, had a black Infinity. I had a black Impala, had a black Impala. We just do black. We do 0% tint, black rims, blacked out. That's just what we do. Let me tell y'all what, girl. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. Hunty. Come to find out, that little black Kia. I thought I was buying an LX. Actually, my car is an S, which come to find out, I'm glad I'm buying the S. The LX, y'all, don't even have cruise control. Hell to the backyard, Billy Coat. Barbecue sauce, Billy Ray Cyrus. Your mama's cousins, uncles, next door neighbors, aunt Susan's cousins, sisters, babies, baby daddy. Hell no. Could you imagine me making all these damn trips to Houston with my little short ass legs with no cruise control? Uh-uh, haunting. Uh-uh. I would know. I would have driven that car right through Kia's front window and said, take this bitch back. Nope. That was not going to work, sweetheart. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Not going to work. I need some plastic. Hang on, hold that thought. This thing's leaking. BRB. I know where I can get some plastic. some plastic um but uh anyway so yeah no was not having that and so yeah so when I talked to Maurice the car guy yesterday yeah he actually was the one that told me he was like yeah actually he was like the black car that y'all originally were coming up after he was like that was an LX I said well I thought the red one that I was buying he I said online it said LX and he said, actually, he said, our internet guys, he said, they made a mistake and they put that down as an LX. He said, but it's actually an S. And I said, oh, and I said, okay, so my car does have cruise control. And he said, yeah. And I was like, oh, whoo. I said, good thing. Cause I would have been hella mad. I said, I would honestly, I would have canceled the deal and got another car. Even if we would have had to start the financing and everything over, which in all honesty, I kind of, in a way, wish that I would have gone with the Kia Forte, which is a step above the Rio. And it's only, two th I say, only $2,000 more. But then, if I would have done that, y'all know how that goes. 
two thousand would have turned into four thousand with all the interest and everything else, and then twenty dollars more a month in car payments would have turned into forty or fifty dollars more a month in car payments. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm not the best with numbers and money and financing, so somebody please tell me. But um, anyway, so I just think it's better I just stay where I am. But yeah, so I'm actually glad that I did end up going with the with the red one, so that worked out for the best. But I'm one of those that what's meant to be will be. So, but um, but yeah, so so I'm excited to see it. But I am so glad that I did not end up trying to do this today because I did not sleep too well last night. I did not feel all that great last night. So I am actually glad that um, that it ended up working out like this. So. BRB. I think I need more plastic. Sorry, y'all. Trying to get everything packed up. Dang, I hear my tummy growling. But, um, anyway, so, yeah. So, I think it just worked out better the way it is. So, and like I said, I'm excited for my little red ride in Rio. Little red ride in Rio. Um, because yeah, like I said, I would have been hella mad if I would have got there and found out that my car had no cruise control. I, I literally, I would have canceled it and gone. So, um, but then I like, I was looking at the photos of the, um, of the, uh, Forte. Oh, that's not going to work. And, um, it looks very, very similar to the, um, to the Rio. It just has a few things like lane assist and things like that, which like really, like I'm not a dumbass. I don't need to have a car tell me when a car's coming in my lane or getting too close. And I've never had a car in my life that's had that, so I don't need it now. And in all honesty, I don't need to pay 20, 30, or 40, 50 extra bucks a month just to say, hey, dipshit. There's a car getting too close or you're getting too close to a car. Like, I don't need to pay extra money for my car to tell me that. I should be aware. Eyes on the road. So, but it is kind of a bummer that my 2012 Impala has a few things that my brand new car doesn't have. But, no oh well, no biggie. Beggars can't be choosers. And I just need to be thankful and grateful and blessed that I have a brand new dependable car. With air conditioner that works good, because mine was starting to not work all that great. That will get me to Houston and back. And I have been saying that the only options that I wanted on my new car was a radio and air conditioner. And dependable. Because honestly, it was getting to the point where, like I said, my car's always passed inspection. But I just had a feeling that my car was getting to the point to where it wasn't going to pass inspection this year. And I just had a feeling it just wasn't. And because I have been developing a rear main seal leak in my car. And the thing that sucks about it is that the gasket or the seal is only $4.86 to replace. But the bummer about it is that it's $1,500 to drop the damn engine. Which sucks. So, um... And I'm not going to spend $1,500 to drop the engine on a car that has um, almost 200,000 miles. I'm just not going to do that. Yeah. 
so especially with all everything that I've already done to the car and it still has problems I mean I've literally replaced the radiator I've replaced the uh, all four wheel hub bearings I've replaced the alternator I've replaced the starter twice I've replaced the inner and outer tie rods the rack and pinion oh my gosh so much stuff y'all it's I've sunk thousands thousands into this car and um, yeah it's it's ridiculous ridiculous so um, and it's still just every time I turn around it's something else it's got an exhaust leak and now I've noticed that um, it's somewhere it's got a pinhole antifreeze leak it's just it's always something so and it's like literally for what I'm spending in repairs I literally could be spending in a car payment so which sucks but oh well I can't see myself y'all oh hey what's up girl there you are <laughs> but anyways y'all know y'all heard me cry and gripe and complain about my car enough and maybe now y'all won't have to listen to me do that because y'all are like Carrie shut up we are so tired of hearing you bitch about your car I know y'all really aren't saying Carrie shut up well you probably are but <laughs> it's okay I know y'all love me I hope y'all love me because I love y'all Okay, let's see. Now I need to get all my crap in here. Time to get all my stuff packed. Yes, I bring Lysol. Lost y'all. See? No oh, crap, it's still stuck. There we go. Okay. That toothpaste, that needs to go. That. 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 Some heroin on foot. I'm not putting any jail or anything in my hair today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now I gotta figure out where to set y'all. Sorry, I'm still getting my bag. Okay. 
Okay. I know I know my ribs can't turn down. <laughs> Let's see. I tried to call my dad a little while ago, but he didn't answer, so I'm assuming he's out in the garage drinking his coffee and watching the world go by. Sorry, I'm trying to get my suitcase um, buckled, whatever you want to call it. Doing good, y'all. Doing good, doing good, doing good. Oh, last night, y'all, I went to go get um, a thing of Doritos out of the um, out of the vending machine, and it got stuck. So, of course, my stupid ass thought, "Oh, well, let me buy another bag of Doritos, and it'll hit that bag, and it'll drop." Knowing it wouldn't, so of course. I go and I um I uh I'm to set my down. so I uh buy another bag of Doritos and it gets stuck. So then Abraham, the security guy, um, which I see him all the time, and he's always like, Hey girl, what's up? How are you? He's like, Hey, let me try to buy a Rice Krispie treat. And I said, Abraham, it's just gonna get stuck. So sure enough, he buys I'm like, Don't waste your money. And he's like, No, let's do it, let's do it. I wanna try. I'm like, Abraham. And he's like, no, come on. Somebody just gave me a $5 bill as a tip. Let's try it. I'm like, okay, whatever. So he does it. And of course, the damn Rice Krispie Treat gets stuck. So then we got Doritos, Doritos, a Rice Krispie Treat. And he's like, I wonder if I buy another one. I said, Abraham. I hit him in his shoulder. I said, you know it's going to get stuck. Don't. And so he does it. So then we got a Dorito, a Dorito, a Rice Krispie Treat. And um, stuck. And they're big Rice Krispie Treat. It's like this. Literally, this. And so he's rocking, 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 and I'm hitting the machine with my butt, like literally trying to butt it. I'm like, oh my God, we're making so much racket, so much racket. And um, and so and so finally, you know, we give up, and I'm like, okay, I'm bound and determined. So I come back to the room, and I find like whatever lo long thing. I stick my skinny arm. I'm out there for an hour, y'all. I finally reach it, and I hit one thing, and I knock it down. I hit the other thingy, I knock it down. I finally get a bag of Doritos, knock it down. Get the other bag of Doritos with this long straw thing, get it down. And so I went down to the front desk and I told the girl and I said, hey, and I said, I know this is so weird. And I said, but my chips and candy got stuck and Abraham actually helped me. And I said, so would you give him, and I gave him one Rice Krispie Treat and one bag of Doritos. And I said, I know it's weird, but he'll know. He'll know because he helped me. And she was like, yeah, and I was like, trust me, he'll know what it's from. So I left him a Rice Krispie Treat and one of the bags of Doritos. And of course, my fat ass ate the other bag of Doritos. But after all that work, I was hungry. 
But I was like, oh my God, seriously? I was so mad. So yeah, so a dollar bag of Doritos ended up costing us like, I don't know, seven bucks. <laughs> so it was ridiculous. But anyway, so that's pretty much that. But oh my God. I have to do something and then I will be back. So happy Saturday, Catterday. Love y'all. And I will be back with something. So, bye.